Dave Beal, DJ Shockley, will assist with down the sidelines. Glad you could join us tonight. George's second possession of the game. And first and ten, they'll swing it out to George Pickens, and he'll pick up eight yards. Making a bunch of catches in the backfield. But they'll hand it off here. They'll go with Zamir White running hard out over the 45 and drives a couple of Mississippi State players with him to the 48. But this is a big part of both these teams. Ball is space. They are just as dangerous as receivers. Jermaine Burton goes in motion. Three receivers to the right side of the field. J.T. Daniels will go that way. And Burton picks the pass. He makes a couple of guys miss and picks up six and a half, maybe seven yards. We're under two minutes to go in quarter. It's, it is flown by. Yeah, this City State, I'm sure this is exactly how they drew it up. Try to take some of the game out of the hands of this Georgia offense. And the pistol, they'll run it left side. They'll go with White. And they'll take it to the Mississippi State. 40 actually falls forward. In every ball game this season, it's physical when he has the ball in his hand. Play fake it to White. Get the pass off. And there's George Pickett. He wants to get the football, and you see three catches already. They're getting him acclimated into the ball game early so that frustration doesn't, doesn't well up. Hand off to Cook, and he goes nowhere. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and that is first down and 10 for Georgia. They'll move it to the 25. Hand off goes to Demir White. Georgia hadn't run it very up front from Mississippi State. They do a lot of movement up front. They're very active. And you see, they don't give up much in the run game. They've only given up one rushing touchdown in their last two ball games versus Alabama and Vanderbilt. So they're available for this game. Found that out uh, in the last 24 hours. So uh, they're only playing with five linebackers in a 3 3 format. As that pass is caught on the outside by Jermaine Burke. First down. Just uh, tapping into what he can bring to the table here. Uh, first and goal now. Another handoff from Mississippi State all over it. Got George Pickens at the top of the screen. Looks like man coverage. Daniels batted at the line of scrimmage, and it's incomplete. Third down and goal from about the four. And this is something that Georgia's had an issue with the majority of the season is batted balls. And sometimes it's just about the offensive lineman getting their hands on the ground. But this is a read here. It's a Kind of a pass option there. He gets up the field, and you see Cameron Young again making another play. Third down and goal, and they'll send Burton in motion again. J.T. Daniels moving the pocket to the right, to the end zone, and touchdown, Georgia. George Pickens, welcome back, number one. Well, this is what you wanted. You wanted your star receiver lined up one-on-one, -on -one and watch the the way he moves on this particular play to get open. It's a little comeback on the outside. He's got him tugging and pulling on him, but because the ball is low and outside and away, it gives him an opportunity to go down to get it because he's falling down trying to catch his football. But this is a well-thrown football by JT Daniels where only George Pickens can come away with it, and he comes down with a big touchdown grab for his Bulldogs. JT Daniels with his first touch hitting Georgia 10-7. to Replay play here for Georgia. JT Daniels, will he step up and let one fly? He will. Deep down the middle, has a man. His pass is caught at the 26-yard line. A great catch by Burke. This is the vertical passing game you get with JT Daniels. Failure to climb. Result of play. First down. But watch him go up and get this football. Jermaine Burton goes up and attacks this football and comes down with a big catch, and you make them pay for jumping off sides where it could have been just a five-yard penalty. You take the shot, you have the awareness to do it. That could have been six for Burton, but they'll take it at the 26-yard line, first down and 10. And he gives the football to James Cook, trying to get the left edge, can't do it. You know, one of the things that Kirby playing a calm, cool, collected game to this point. Yeah, and that's tough to do, especially when you haven't played in a while and the expectations are high, everybody in wants to see you play, so he's done a good job to control those emotions. Four-man rush, and JT in trouble and dropped again for the second time tonight. Get up field and pressure the quarterback. Brummett, he got credit for the sack, but Aaron Brule was really the man who kind of forced that pocket to collapse. Now they'll set up a little screen to Burke. They'll get it back across the original line of scrimmage to around the Flashes of that, but for the most part, it hasn't been an offense that, that I would say has been in sync with JT Daniels' first start. 
Although this is a good way to get this drive started as Kiaris Jackson gets it out over the 45-yard line. Boy, you have a big play like that and a holding call pushes you back 10 yards. First down and 21, 16 on the clock. Georgia with three timeouts left. JT Daniel steps up in that pocket, hit as he throws, going deep. Look at the point and has it. Out of bounds around the 35 yard line. Jermaine Burton with his second big time catch here in the first half. It's unreal he's able to get this football in there because Mississippi State is playing some form of cover three. And Burton still gets behind the defense, but did you see the location of that football? Perfectly dropped in the bucket. The football vertically down the field gives him a different threat on offense. 46-yard reception. That one's batted down and incomplete. Well, we saw that quite a bit with Stetson Bennett when he was running the shot. Arms it and throws it into the cover two window where Pickens can come down with it. And back off the right side. There goes James Cook. He's down to the saying, hey, we just need you to stop him. We don't allow him to get into the end zone, keep everything in front of you. Quick hitter to Burton. Cuts it to the outside, to the 10, to the 5, and he is thrown out of bounds there, but there is a flag. In the air and incomplete. Quarterback hurries, leads all SEC linebackers with that number. He's been in the backfield quite a bit tonight. JT Daniels has a clean pocket, throws to the end zone, touchdown, Jermaine Burton. Covers Burton because he's had a big ball game. But watch the flick of the wrist. Watch how the quick release of this football comes out. Puts it high, and Burton just running right down the seam, and nobody catches him going down the middle of left field. Nice job there by Burton. JT Daniels with a good first half, first play. And this will be a toss sweep going nowhere. This is the one thing I think the takeaway for me in the first half, more so than JT Daniels. game in the second half. Lost a yard on that one, so Georgia came in averaging 174 yards a game on the ground. That was fifth in the conference. Here's Cook, his opportunity with the football in his hands, and he gets it to the 23-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. Third down, making some key catches. Third down and 12. Three-man rush by Mississippi State. Pass is caught. First down, Georgia. George Pickens. Pick up 15. Yeah, to come down with that football. Daniels low throw, scooped off the turf by Kiaris Jackson. And he'll get out of bounds. Man of this offense has a great presence and understands where each guy in this offense belongs. There goes Zamir White off the left side. Got back to the line of scrimmage. Now it's third down. It's down and six from the 41. Now they bring McIntosh in the backfield to the left for JT Daniels. Four-man rush by Mississippi State. Daniels gets the pass off. Garris Jackson spins off a couple of Mississippi State defenders to the 49-yard line, and that'll be good enough. With the soft coverage here from Mississippi State. Allow them to just sit down in his zone, similar to what Mississippi State has done on offense, and then give it to your playmaker in space and allow him to just to pick up that first down. Dumps it off. Well played there by Mississippi State as Jackson makes the catch. Tackle made by Mark. Watch this Georgia football team is they're led in the pass game, but right now in this ball game, Mississippi State has came in and said, hey, we're going to take away the run and force you to throw the football and be patient. Daniels 18 to 22. A couple of touchdowns. Mississippi State with a corner blitz. Georgia picks it up nicely, allowing Daniels to heave one down the field. There's Burton. Touchdown, Georgia. 48 yards.
17 to go in the third quarter. Pickens in motion. Little flea flicker. Back to JT. He'll go underneath to Pickens as Mississippi State obviously a drop back. Second down in a long three. Or long seven, I should say. And handoff goes nowhere. It'll be third down. Coming up for the Bulldogs. Don't forget Marty Smith and Ryan McGee. They'll have some fun and talk everything that is the SEC Wednesday at a game you're watching. This is one of those where you start clicking over, right? Oh, yeah. It's definitely intriguing. Four-man rush by Mississippi State. Underneath throw will be good enough for a first down. Pass is caught there by the tight end. Another quick, easy decision. Catch. Another quick, easy decision here. Knows where he wants to go with the football. Puts it on that left shoulder so he can turn away from the defender. Really nice ball, really nice decision as well. Nothing happening there in the run game. With Samir White. Guy comes out of great high school, modern day. They produce some awesome quarterbacks. Matt Liner, Colt Brennan, Matt Barkley. There's a guy at Alabama right now looking pretty good, too, that was there right after JT, Bryce Young. We've got some work today for the Crimson Tide. Looked like he was going to be the starter, so he's been waiting for this moment for a long time, and let me see if he can come up with something big here on third and long. Well, Mississippi State selling out of the blitz. JT Daniels has a chance to air it out. It just overthrows Pickens at the 20, looking around for a flag. I don't see one. He doesn't see one. And I don't think we're going to get one. Hand it off to Zamir White. And he'll get it. Mississippi State has absolutely won it in one game. Look, this whole line, I think, has been a lot better than people expected them to be this year. But tonight, they have met their match with the front of Mississippi State. He does it again. Might have lost a yard. It'll be third down. Watch the penetration here. Look, it, they, they got a gap in a, a guy in each gap. Nowhere for, Jay, for McIntosh to go. And if you're a Georgia fan, you're probably asking why you continue to run the football. Why the I keep pounding your head against that wall when the right here in Athens, Georgia and Miss State tied at 24, 14 minutes to go here in the contest. Maybe a little bit more the way this one is playing out. JT Daniels having a heck of a game for the Bulldogs in his first start in a Georgia uniform. Gets his pass underneath. It's caught by Trey McKinney. Here in that instance, getting his team into a good play. Picks up five. Daniels, 23 of 29 for 294. He'll hand it off to Kenny McIntosh. McIntosh, first appearance in a while after he was got to be frustrating. As Mississippi State has totaled 10 tackles for loss tonight. Bringing some heat. Georgia picks it up. JT pump fakes. Boy, he was waiting for his guy Pickens to get open, and he finally did, and that'll be a first down. Davis, this offense lit up. Look at it. He's got time to survey, moves over just a little bit. Like you mentioned, double pump twice and still that time to throw this football, and Pickett finally wins on the outside. Just wonder, how much does Mississippi State have in the tank defensively? Daniels coming near side. Pass is called. Demetrius Robertson. His eighth catch of the year, his first one tonight, and another first down. This ball was thrown from the other hash. Watch this football get all the way outside to the numbers and throws it at the level where only his receiver can get it with an underneath defender there. Arm strength and then also a good route on the outside. And toss it. James Cook. Well played there by Mississippi State. That was a nice... Drops it off a la Mississippi State, and that'll be a first down as Zamir White dives to the 30-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Back to sneak out 
and just drops it off for a big game. Daniels laughs it up, going toward the end zone, incomplete. Kiaris Jackson was in the end zone and couldn't hold on. Oh, wow, he was wide open, had another big chance. Now so now it's second and 10 from the 30-yard line. JT under pressure, dodges a couple of guys, fires toward the end zone. That one is incomplete, looking for Pickens. They will throw it again on third and 10. Daniels on the run, pass caught by Pickens. That'll be a first down at the 18-yard line. Ah, uh, you got a flag back near. the 40-yard line. Again, pressure comes. JT has a clean pocket. Airs it out wide open down the field. Caught this time. Touchdown, Kiaris Jackson. The third time is a charm for Georgia in the end zone on this drive. And this is man-on-man -man here. Mississippi State goes cover zero blitz. No safety in the middle of the field. And the defensive back gets caught flat-footed. Sean Preston and Kiaris just runs right by him down the seam here. And you see him coming right in the middle of your living room, right down the middle, and just drops an absolute dime to Kiaris for the touchdown. He's on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ball almost picked off. Shocks this offense, Georgia offense. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. 35 again. Incomplete off the hands of Zamir White. Maybe you didn't think the crew would let you just get off here without, you know, everybody. You're enjoying yourself uh, not at home, somewhere a little <laughs> bit more luxurious these days. Yeah, now that we can be mobile with our equipment, I'm just about, I could be anywhere. Passes caught, speaking of anywhere, twisting and turning is Demetrius Robinson with the reception for Georgia on a third down and 10. That was a huge pass from JT Daniels. Well, this is pretty good coverage, but sometimes when you throw a ball like this, that's absolutely perfect, thrown in the right spot. It's hard for a defender to have any here today. Guys making plays all over the field. I tell you what, as this game has gone on, I have gotten more and more impressed with JT Daniels. Zamir White, this is their most impressive run Number of the day, that's for sure, as the clock goes under 545. But, you know, I got to think the first couple of series. The play later in the ball game where he had a guy coming barreling down on him and he made a couple guys miss. Georgia going to the run game using Zamir White. Another first down inside the 40, and this is exactly what Georgia wanted to do on this possession. There is a flag down. 613, uh, 713 yards passing, and we have a total of uh, 47 yards rushing. JT Daniels dropped at the 29-yard line, so there's still some life left in this Mississippi State defense. Errol Tom, 20. JT Daniels, they will rush three and drop eight. They'll go a little delay handoff to McIntosh. He'll get it to the 40-yard line, and Mississippi State's defense, there aren't many of them on the trip, folks, but they just stood tall and got the football back for their offense with four minutes.